What's up guys, welcome to IT Security Labs. And in today's video, we're going to complete Troll 1 from Vaughn Hub. This is a capture the flag machine that was created by author called Maleus. And this is wonderful because they designed this machine in a way that is meant to frustrate you and force you to think out of the box. So if you want to do this along with me, go ahead and download the machine. This is good for learning ethical hacking. And as you can see here, I have my PFSense firewall and my troll machine and everything is running in my VMware Fusion. And I have a PFSense firewall because I like to use PFSense to isolate the, this lab from everything else. And I've currently connected to PFSense and I have my troll machine also running there. So without wasting, wasting time, let's go to our Kali Linux machine. And inside our Kali Linux machine, I'm going to sign into our PFSense and we check our DHCP, make sure that we have an IP address. So if we go to statistics, leases, see that I have two machines online, Kali and Tro, and Tro is on 192.168.38.11. All right, so the first thing that we do is let's make sure that we ping it, even though some of that is online. And there we go. Okay, now nmap 38.11. And now we just, enumerating for service version if there's any services that are running we're going to find out what the version is and this is going to enumerate the top 1000 ports so as you can see we saw port 21 with anonymous allowed so we're going to go for anonymous and then i also have port 22 and port 80 so that's good stuff first thing that i do let's just run derb on http since we saw port 80 on n2.168. 38.11 this is going to brute force some directories on our site very quickly and we'll be able to see if there's any directories that are running that are of any interest so right now we see that we have secret we want to go and check that one out while derby is running see what's running on secret we can paste it here and here's secret of course we're getting trolled here it says are you mad ah no i'm not uh, usually what i do here is i'll save this mesh this image and brute force uh maybe run steg hide to see if there's any information here but as i know there's nothing here so i'm just going to move on to more things so secret doesn't have anything interesting um let's go back here and say do have finished uh we have robots to text there's nothing in there either so let's go to ftp ftp on one dot uh, 38.11 and it's anonymous we saw that anonymous is allowed so we are in it's anonymous uh, another tool that I wanted to show you is that you can run Sparta Sparta or Legion in this case it says Legion and you do give us the same results so if you're interested in running Sparta go ahead and run Sparta you also be able to get the same information and you see that put FTP and it will say that anonymous is allowed that's what that's what we did in nmap also taught us the same thing because spider runs scripts from nmap and spider also does nicto which is really good and then we can see each service by itself so now that we're in here if we say there we can see that we have a file called pick l o l pcap so we can say get to download this file the pcap and voila see that we downloaded the file so if i exit out of here so that file is in in, in the root directory here so we can open that file using wireshark or tcb dump so let's open it with the wireshark because i haven't done much with wireshark on this channel so this way you get to get a good test of wireshark if you're brand new otherwise if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing so with wireshark you can say file open then it will go to the root and here's our pcap open and it opens the pcap so we are trying to understand what is going on and before you do that please consider subscribing and liking my videos it helps the youtube algorithm so please uh subscribe to this channel and um i really appreciate it all right so now that we are here we can look at what is happening we see some scene scene arc people are able to sign in using anonymous and the password 
and we see a bunch of things that are happening here. What I'm looking for is anything that involves files moving because with FTP, we can read any traffic. This traffic is not going to be encrypted. So secret stuff here looks interesting. So let's look at that right here. So let's uh, follow this TCP stream and see if we can see what is happening. It says, well, 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 you aren't, aren't you just clever little devil? You almost found super secret der LOL. Okay. So this of course is part of the trolling that is happening here, right? So I spent some time, I didn't know what to use that information for, but after a while I found out that it's a super secret directory, like they said, and this is where it is. Look. And right here, I was like, okay, what, what do I have here? I have, I have this right here. It's just one file. So let's just go ahead and save that file. And this file is going to be in our downloads folder. So if I say file and the name of that is RO something, let's find out what kind of file is it. It's an executable. So you can do hmod plus x in the name of the file and it should work. Then if you do this, now we should be able to execute it and see what is in it. it says find address this again. This is a second place where it's a rabbit hole. I spent so much time trying to find out what that is. I thought it was something different, but it's an address again, like we did with our URL. If we thought out of the box right away, I spent about 20 minutes there. It gives us this new location here. It says good luck. And this folder contains the password. So the password is inside the folder. Okay. But let's start with good luck. Which one? Uh, so this looks like a username list. So I'll copy that and let's open our here and say VI and say name it user names dot text and paste those contents right here. This is what it looks like. Then let's save. Then we go back and says this folder contains the password and it says pass the text. Another trolling thing here is I thought the password was in here. So I copied this, came here and said VI password dot text. And then, um, the reason why I'm adding pass dot text is because if you read this, right, it says, this folder contains the password. So I, we're getting trolled. So I finally figured out that password text is the actual password. And this you learn from trial and error. I'm going to save us time here, but now you know. So because of that, we don't need to waste our time, but I'll show you how I was able to brute force it. Let's save that. Okay. So to brute force, what we were going to do here is we're just going to fire up Hydra and say, let's, let's run a Hydra. If I say Hydra and the options that I have is minus L, usernames to text, minus P, it's big P. And the, in this case, pass, passwords to text. So you have those words in there. You can generate another list if you want it, but uh, you can also have those words in there. Then we put the IP address, 38.11. And it's SSH and we want this to be just one thread and you can fire Hydra. After a little bit, you realize that Hydra doesn't find anything, which is very, very interesting because Hydra normally finds things. And so that got me thinking, what else can I use for brute forcing if Hydra is not working? And I'm going to show you Nmap. I'm going to just use Nmap for brute forcing. And this is what I end up doing. So Hydra doesn't find anything. I don't know why, but with Nmap, we're saying let's brute force port 22 and use, let's use a script SSH brute force. And in this case, the script arguments are username, uh, user 
DB, that's the database with the users, and the password DB is passed to text. After a while, this is what you see. So you see that uh, right up here, I ran my nmap with that command. And after a while, it will brute force, brute force, brute force, and we got our username overflow, and the password is passed to text like we assumed. So let's go ahead and SSH into our machine with our user SSH overflow at 192.168.38.11 and pass dot text and now we are in here and sudo minus l okay so it doesn't look like we have anything that we can do here ls ls minus la do i have bash history here no uh, then you can poke around, you can even bring your enum for Linux, or you can do this, your name minus A. In this case, we have this version. So just copy that. Let's go ahead and uh, paste it in Google. Say exploit. Can I find any exploits? Yes, there's a kernel exploit here for that. So we are in luck here. This is already uh, set for us. So what we can do is simply download this exploit and save and if I come back here to my machine ls and now I have my exploit here so the simplest way is let me transfer this exploit to my victim machine I like to use my Python simple HTTP server so let's do that it's running from port 80 and let's remember this name here so server is running, come back here, clear, wget, http, 192.168.38.10, that's my Kali Linux. Okay, so we need to be in the temp. And let's do it again and paste it in there. Right, so now that we're in here, we can now compile this using GCC, which is just a simple way of compiling. So let's just do this very quickly. Okay, now let's see GCC our stuff. All right, ls, now we have an exploit. So we should now be able to just run that exploit and we should be root. Bam, now if I say id, I'm root, ls, cd to the home cd slash root cat proof the text okay we did it so that's how we were able to uh, complete this machine it was frustrating a lot of trolling going on but we completed it so if you haven't please consider liking and subscribing otherwise join us as we build a lab i will see you next time